One of the most important aspects of strength conditioning rehabilitation is having foot and ankle extensibility and the subsequent reaction or strength in that foot and ankle complex. Here we'd like to share with you just a few of the variations that exist. Here we're going to have Keith positioned so his body weight is actually forward on the foot. So we're utilizing natural body drivers. A driver is simply something that creates a reaction. In this case we use the body weight first to position so the tibia is up over the straight position foot and then Keith is going to start driving his right leg forward and backwards. This should create a nice smooth reaction of the tibia moving over the foot. In addition to this you can place your hands on the connective tissue and simply add a little bit of attraction and rotation. Number one, you can assess the quality of the tissue translating as well as observationally see how well the tibia moves over the foot. After you've accomplished approximately eight to ten repetitions in the sagittal plane, you'll now want to move in the frontal plane. So Keith moves right lateral and left lateral and therefore the tibia is going to react to the driver. Once again, there's no conscious contraction here squeezing, it's simply an authentic reaction based on the drivers and shifting the body's mass and momentum. Now Keith's going to move into the transverse plane, so he's going to rotate right and rotate left. What you should view for is a rotatory reaction of the tibia. So as Keith's foot goes right, you get internal rotation of the tibia. As it goes left, you get external rotation of the tibia. You want to make sure that the calcaneus does not slide on the floor. So one of the things you can do is to grab onto the calcaneus and add attraction. This will enhance the mobilization of this complex. Other variations, you can put the foot on a slant board for example. A slant board works really well because then the body doesn't have to be so far forward. For many of the athletes they have the core stability to lean forward to get the angulation. But many of the older clients that we work with are not going to have that core stability. So what we like to do is put them on a slant board therefore their whole body can go closer to the wall or the outside support. Now a note, the more outside support you have, the less intrinsic strength you need. So to follow this mobilization up, what we're going to want to do is have Keith come on out here in free space where he has very little support, just his left foot on the ground. And what we want to remember is what we saw in the extensibility assessment. Here Keith is now driving his right foot under a different environment. He has no outside support with his upper extremity. His torso is not reliant on an outside support. So we're looking for the reaction now to take place. So this is a great follow-up, a one-two preparatory drill, flexibility and strength before you move on to more dynamic movements. We'll also have Keith go side to side to make sure we get the frontal plane. And then he's also going to do the rotation plane. So here's a great assessment for example. As his right foot goes to the right, it should create a pronatory effect in the foot and ankle complex. As his right foot goes left, it should create a supinatory effect. You also, as a therapist or a trainer, can use your hands to help coach this. These are all great movements to help facilitate the foot and ankle before you embark upon more intense movements. The Gray Institute is the Institute of Applied Functional Science. Applied Functional Science is founded off of unifying principles of nature. To learn more and to see the workout in its entirety and the education that supplements the workouts, please visit our website.